Hello, Yeladim. Good morning. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, a wonderful Shavuot and Shabbat. I missed everyone when we didn't get to do our Shabbat Oneg together, but we had some rainy weather, but we also had some nice weather, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, the last time I showed you a video, or I did a YouTube, or maybe I sent an email to your families, I sent you a picture of some caterpillars that came in a box to my house. Now, I thought I would have a chance to show you my caterpillars crawling around, but guess what happened to them? Over Shavuot. Over Shavuot. They all went into their cocoons. And I wanted to show you a picture I have. And it talks about butterflies and how they start. Do you know, it says here, that the little tiny caterpillar starts as a tiny little egg. The egg is so tiny, though it's visible, you can see it, but it's so, so tiny. And the butterfly lays eggs on the tender part of a plant, like new leaves or buds. So you often see them in springtime. A caterpillar is little, but it has strong jaws. It uses them to eat. Now caterpillars out in the wild or outside eat through leaves and all kinds of things. These caterpillars that I ordered came with special food that was on the bottom of our container. What stage that my, our caterpillars are in right now is called the chrysalis stage. So after the caterpillars have eaten and eaten and eaten, have gotten bigger and bigger and fatter, they will molt, which means they shed their skin and it starts to grow. The caterpillar creates a shell and while it's inside, it goes through changes. So what we're gonna do, more lies is gonna be really brave. I'm gonna put on a glove because I don't know if I wanna touch everything. But what I'm gonna do is I have here, it's called a butterfly garden. And in here, we are going to place our caterpillars. So right now, I'm going to open the jar. Okay. Hmm. I thought it'd be easier to do. Okay, I'm gonna open the jar. And on top of the jar is this little cloth. And I'm going to take the cloth off and it came with a little pin. So I'm going to take the pin and put it into, and you see these here? I'm going to attach it into our butterfly garden. I'm going to stick the pin in so it goes in and then it comes out and it's stuck on here. Now I'm going to do my best. There were two caterpillars that didn't make it quite onto. They didn't make it onto the paper. I don't know why. Ah! Oh, more lies. I going to use her fingers. Oh, gross. And I'm gonna take my glove off and put it inside the food, which we don't need anymore. And I'm going to close up our container. And in here, we have our caterpillars waiting. I am going to keep them in my house, much to the dismay of my family. And we will wait and see what happens. So far, they went from caterpillars into the chrysalis stage. And here I have a picture of a caterpillar. And then here's the chrysalis stage. So that's where we're at. And I'm trying to see, we have a book here. It talks about butterflies. And it talks about before I was born, mom and dad met while they were flying in a field.
They flew around each other for a few minutes and landed on a flower to mate. They laid some eggs and flew away. Time to hatch. After about five days of growing inside my egg, I'm ready to hatch out as a tiny caterpillar. I have to chew my way out of my egg. It's hard work. This two-day-old egg will soon start to change colors. It takes many hours for the caterpillar to chew its way out of the egg. That's the first meal it eats is its eggshell. Now look at this. I'm sorry that my caterpillars grew so quickly, but they start here like this big in seven days, this big in 12 days. And by 18 days, it is that big. Sometimes they eat their old skin that they shed. Urgh. I guess they always have food around. And here they show you just in a magnified way how big it could get, but it's not really this big. It says, I don't sleep. I just eat and eat and eat and eat. Caterpillars are fussy eaters. Most eat only one or two kinds of plants. If you grew as fast as a caterpillar, you might be as big as a truck in just two weeks. How crazy is that? Holding on tight. After about four weeks, I find a nice strong branch and spin some sticky silk thread to help me hang on. Now I'm ready to shed my skin for the last time. He starts to spin his cocoon. His protective case is called a chrysalis. And this is the stage that our caterpillars are in right now. They will start hanging slowly and there are lots of changes happening. And I think we'll wait to read the rest of our book until we see that our caterpillars have changed. But for now, they will be in my house, in our butterfly holder. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.